A trip of a lifetime put on hold. Honor Flight Dayton takes veterans to Washington, D.C. to see the monuments and memorials dedicated to them. And for some, it provides a sense of closure. The pandemic, though, shut it down for nearly three years. But late last month, 105 local heroes, they were back in the skies, experiencing something that they will forever cherish. Myself and photojournalist Holden Robinson were invited along for the ride. Take a look. Some have said life is a journey, an experience full of obstacles and triumph. A military veteran may know that better than most, <laughs> which makes this morning even more meaningful. Hey, Gil, we got a new over here. 105 Miami Valley military veterans are about to embark on a new journey impossible to prepare for, but one that will leave them forever changed. <laughs> this is Honor Flight Dayton, a trip to Washington, D.C., and a chance to find solace and closure. It is what I call a labor of love. And when you see what a difference it's made to these guys, it makes every single second you've spent well worth it. This will be the program's first time in the air in nearly three years, the pandemic grounding it and taking away precious time. When we started to call for these trips, we had lost um, a significant amount of our list. Honor Flight Board member Kelly Cox says more than 50 veterans on the list to fly had passed, an added emotional weight felt by all involved. We feel honored to be here, and uh, this is very humbling, and uh, we thank all the people that sponsored this. All the wheelchairs, guys and gals, go on first. I'm gonna move you up closer on the way home. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. I'll see you in a little bit. Behave up here. <laughs> a remarkable collection of experience straps in. Was it in Korea? Uh, Vietnam. Vietnam. Yeah. As the plane prepares to land, three World War II, 14 Korean, and 88 Vietnam veterans are about to get their first surprise. Appreciation coming from complete strangers. When we got to the airport, the whole airport was, was clapping. And it felt good. Feelings many of these men never experienced while they served. Good morning and welcome to DC. Thank hey, thanks you. so much for your service. Thank Appreciate you. you being here. Got any Marines on board here? Ah, uh, hurrah, Semper Fi, guys. The emotional weight of this journey has only begun. Honor Flight Dayton brings our veterans to see the memorials dedicated to them at no cost, but it also continues to inspire others to give back too. Good morning, Dayton. At the Air Force Memorial, a motorcycle gang of sorts greets the veterans. These men and women are part of the Honor Flight Motorcycle Escort Team. These men and women have, you know, they sacrificed going overseas and, and fighting for our country and left, you know, plenty of people they know behind. And we just feel it's, it's a great thing to come out and honor them and, and thank them for their service and spend a little time with them. They've been riding with the program for more than 15 years. To us, it's very inspiring. I mean, even when we start getting a little worn down because we're out here every week, as soon as that bus pulls up, we all get our perk back and are glad to see the veterans, glad to shake their hands. Glad to spend time with them. I take a couple of poses. You guys better start smiling. And lunch is on the house, thanks to a son of immigrants who wanted to give back. It gives me the satisfaction that, you know, maybe I'm not one of those who gave all, but I am serving those who gave, you know, everything to this country. And so for more than 15 years, Ace, as he's affectionately known, provides meals and water to honor flights coming to D.C. from across the country. I have not found anybody who's willing to do it yet. So until then, I mean, I only have to feel good and continue doing it. Confronting the past is part of healing. I'll say this, it made me cry again. I talk to him every now and then. I do. I do. At the Vietnam Memorial, Mike Walsh remembers his welcome home. He was just 20 years old. We started going up the escalator. And all of a sudden, they started throwing stuff at us. And then they started calling us baby killers and every other thing. 
He's looking for a close friend's name, killed in combat, the scars of which he's been desperately trying to heal since. Thank you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad you came. Mm, so am I. There it is. There it is. That's him. That's him. Many of these men were barely past high school when they enlisted or were drafted. When you're young, you're invincible. It's always going to happen to the other guy, not me. And that's the attitude you had to go with. As we get to the World War II Memorial, the day begins to come into focus. When we got off the plane and I saw everybody out there clapping their hands and cheering, I got teary-eyed. I mean, when I came home, I got spit on. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. To have that support now is just, you can't, you can't put it into words. As the sun sets, the smiles are endless, and the surprises for these men continue to arrive. Mail call! All right. This is your honor flight mail call. Every veteran gets a packet full of letters. Dear veteran, thank you for everything you have done for us. Family, friends, school children, and complete strangers share their appreciation. I thank you for using your time to protect our country. Thank you. How about that? Isn't that something? It makes me feel like tears are going to come. The tears are only just beginning. The final surprise is waiting as these vets come home. <laughs> Honor Flight Dayton makes it a point to make sure the vets get the proper welcome home that some have been waiting decades for. I don't even have the words to tell you what it feels like. I mean, all, with all these people, I've never seen nothing like it. It took that bad taste out of my mouth. I, this has been 69, 71, it's been a long time carrying that. But now, let's take care of it. Bringing people together like we are tonight has been something that I'll, that I'll take to the grave with me. An honor flight is a journey you can't prepare for, but ask any veteran and they'll tell you. It's a journey that leaves them forever grateful. Now we do want to say a few weeks after this story aired, Jim Reisner, who was a Vietnam veteran that you heard from in this story at the wall, he passed away. That's him and his guardian taking a picture of the name of one of his buddies that he lost in Vietnam. We just want to express our deepest condolences to his family. Uh, his, his, uh, his friends. It was, a, it was a great pleasure to meet him. And, uh, you know, to give you an idea of the ex what the experience meant to him, he was laid to rest in his Honor Flight shirt. If you'd like to learn more about Honor Flight Dayton and the incredible work it does for our veterans that you just saw, we do have a link posted in the web version of this story right now. That's on Dayton247now.com.